The evidence that the biggest victim of all may have been Michael Jackson himself. Following five months of investigation and interviewing 50 people associated with the case, GQ senior writer Mary A. Fisher answers the question, did Michael do it? Her response, a resounding no. In fact, he was framed in that he himself was the victim and of a carefully conceived plan to extract money from him. Fisher claims that Evan Chandler, whose son alleges the abuse, gathered the molestation stories from the boy during a highly irregular session while using a drug which often creates false memories. It was only after he was given this drug in Mr. Chandler's office, dental office, that he came out with the allegations against Michael Jackson. Before that, he had said nothing wrong had ever happened. GQ reports that Jackson's image was severely damaged by lurid tales told by the singer's former employees. Fisher states that during paid tabloid newspaper and television appearances, these people alleged sexual misconduct, while under oath, they dropped the charges. They acknowledged that they had never seen Michael Jackson do anything wrong with anybody. 